Well, hello and welcome back. Veronica De Polo here. So last week we ended our podcast with me saying that we were going to talk about messaging because I've been noticing that every time I mention the word messaging, many people don't understand what I mean and how messaging can actually help you change and persuade someone's mind and how can messaging really benefit your services? So let's dive in. Hey, I'm Veronica DiPolo, and with more than 15 years being a marketing strategist, you're going to experience the new way to promote your business with clear and unique messaging by giving you actionable marketing and messaging strategies that get you interested leads to transform the lives of your audiences so that you build up your brand with continuous momentum. Get ready because here's where we say no to outdated marketing strategies and society norms and we say yes to change from the inside out. Welcome to the Branding Momentum Podcast. So before we jump to what is messaging, messaging is not something that you can touch. It's not tangible. It's not like metrics or revenue or open rates, but there are a few things that might show you why your messaging is not working. You are not getting any responses on your post. You are not getting any DMs from your stories or people asking, wanting to know more, or when you are sending emails. Not many people are opening or clicking to what you are sending them. And when you are selling your services, not many people are saying, yes, I need it, right? So messaging is like mindset. You can't really know when the mindset is fixed or is broken or is improving. Messaging is the same way. And you can only know based on people's reactions and interactions if it's resonating or not. Okay, now let's talk about messaging and what really means because I need you to really understand what the word messaging actually does mean, right? So messaging is what you want to communicate. It's not your copywriting. Messaging is what actually connects Your copywriting is what actually is going to convert those people that are reading your messaging, right? So what's the deeper purpose you want your brand to be perceived as? And you use that brand messaging inside your emails, your website, your blog posts, what and how you say on your TikToks, on your reels, your podcast episodes, your YouTube videos, your sales pages, your landing pages, your freebies, even on your checkout pages, there is messaging. It's not the words, it's the meaning behind the words. Like what is the strategy that you want to get out of people, right? So messaging is this big bubble, like this big umbrella, right? From your personal brand or your business brand and how you show up in your work. Everything you say in your work is messaging. And this also is the messaging and words you have on your website or the words that you might say in an interview when you're having a conversation with a client in real life. You know, it might be the sales call with your potential client, that sales call that you're having, that messaging that you want to convey on that sales call, that is also messaging. It can be teaching in courses. It can be the social media posts that you do, what you say to hook your audience. Like what is that hook that you want to actually get people to pay attention what you're putting out, what you write on your copy to lure them to know more. The words we write and the words we say have power. And we are really talking about the power behind the words. The words are copywriting. Messaging is the intent, the desire, the pain, the struggle, and persuasion, how you use your words to influence and change someone's point of view, to educate them or actually empower them. And it's how you're showing up. It's how you are communicating those words, how you are being understood or how authentic you sound and you come across, how you are helping your people feel 
heard. And that's why, you know, like all these TED Talks have this ability to change your world and change the way that you look at things because they're using messaging to the master level of trying to connect. So you actually start to shift, start to change. You you identify with what they're saying. And I will assume that most of you listening have a service. Messaging also works with products, but it's a lot harder for a service provider to show what they do because some services, you can't actually show what you are doing, especially if you're, I don't know, let's say you are a divorce lawyer. How are you going to show your services? Well, most definitely a happy customer got divorced, but it's hard to show the transformation your services give them, right? It's it's, it's better to express it and then tap into those emotions through your messaging, right? Only the words and the meaning behind those words can actually make someone change their mind to work with you. And now let's look at the benefits of messaging that can actually have within your business. So we're in the problem solving business, right? And when, when you know what's the problem your potential clients have, your messaging can actually help you bridge or shorten that gap in that transformation your services provides to them, right? And connection always comes first. And how do we connect with our audience? By speaking their language. How do you do that? by asking them questions as to why. Why do they do that? Why do they feel that? Why You need to go deeper and try and understand. And if you don't know what's keeping them at night, ask them and then use those exact words they say back to you and use it in your copy through your messaging, right? Now, another one, you need to create a subconscious um, demand for what you're offering without sounding salesy. You made it for me. Oh my God, I need it. You know, those kind of feelings and connections and identify with that person so that they, they feel that you are actually creating something just for them because you understand, because you ask questions in the beginning, right? And the more authentic and unique you are in your communication, and when I mean more unique and authentic. We're going to talk about this in a few weeks or maybe next week. I'm not sure which one right now, but the more authentic and unique you are in your communication, less stiff, less trying to be like somebody maybe maybe that you're not, the more likely you attract the right qualified leads that actually want to be your clients. Why? Because there is a connection there. Okay, so this is a very short episode because I really wanted to just come here and let you know that messaging is really important. Yes, copywriting is important, but the meaning and feeling behind everything, everything has a strategy, the way that you present it, the way that you say it. So that copy becomes more powerful, more empowering, right? Okay. I hope to see you same time, same place next week. Bye-bye.